Okay, so we're gonna do a little get ready with me. I don't have my ring on yet. I should probably go grab it. I'll go grab it. Because if I'm not wearing my ring, somebody's gonna say something like, oh, what's going on? Why isn't she wearing her ring? So we're just gonna do a little chatty get ready with me. And I have my ring now. Anyway, um, looking for my makeup. What do I wanna wear today? Do I wanna wear like a shimmer gold gloss or red? Which one are we feeling? Red. I am not a, you know, like love a bold lip because I don't really wear much on my eyes. So like wearing a bold lip is fun for me. I've got hooded eyes and I am a lazy person, but I have my lashes done. So I feel like that's like enough, right? So we're gonna go in with the foundation first. This is um, Le Beige's Le Beige's by Chanel, and it's just my current fave. This is the one I've been wearing since right before the wedding. I got it, and it's good stuff. And I did get this new brush by It Cosmetics. Let me show you. It probably needs to be washed. I used it yesterday. I didn't wash it yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go in with the foundation and I think I'm just going to like put this video in with the vlog because I don't know if there's going to be a whole video. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm new while well, I'm back to YouTube and it's been such a long time since I've been here. Very excited about this because I just feel really, really inspired right now in my life to create content and connect with people and um I'm, I'm really lucky in that like that never went away from me i've been doing this now since 2015 or 16 or something and i still feel that same passion that i have always felt but i've cleared my schedule so i have time now to do more of this which is just really awesome i'm very very happy um with this and being able to do more and i'm going to bring the camera up a little closer because i don't think you can even see what's happening here. Not that that is going to do that much, but I am not a like fancy makeup girly. I am like a let's get it done in five minutes kind of a girl. So yeah, I do really love this Chanel though. It's I love Chanel makeup in general because it like smells really. I love the smell of it. it smells good. Feels like a luxury product. It's got great coverage. I mean, look at that coverage. That is good, a good amount of coverage. But we do have to cover the chin a bit more. I have PCOS and I have known that I've had PCOS since I was 21-ish. Because I did not have regular periods. I went into the doctor and the doctor said I had PCOS. And it was a very traumatic experience. I'll have to tell that story. We'll do we'll do a story time and I'll explain how I found out. But anyway, I have PCOS and I have chin hair that grows and it's not cute. And I am somebody who literally can't stand it. I literally can't stand it. Like I have to pluck it every single day. And like, I follow some girlies on Instagram that are like, don't pluck it, get it lasered. And I'm like, I'm blonde, that's impossible. Or like, Using, you could use like a nair on your face, but that's horrible because it like burns your skin and I don't think that's any better. I try to pluck and be like as gentle as I can so as to not, um, you know, damage my skin. But like you just have, it, it just, it's giving what's going on girl. The other thing I do is I shave my face and I used to be so embarrassed about that. Funny story that I'll tell you. When I first met Tommy um, and we started dating, like this was after I had moved back to Arizona um, to pretty much be with him. I, uh, <laughs> I shaved my mustache, cause it's blonde and it's not like super long and it's not super thick or anything. And um, <laughs> I like made a mistake and I cut myself like right here. <laughs> because I was a little too aggressive. And then he came over and we had like a date that night. And he was like, oh, what happened to your lip? Like he was all worried about it. He's like, 
like who did that to you like he was pissed and i was like i didn't want to tell him because like what guy wants to hear that you're shaving your face right it feels like a dude thing to do and back then i was like kind of insecure about it and um so i took a leap and i told him because he was like ready to fight somebody and which i thought was hot I'm not gonna lie i thought it was hot i think i have i think i should turn down the exposure because it is really bright in here let me see if we can do that i don't know how to do that maybe i can do that there will that do it is that a little better anyway he was ready to fight somebody and then when i told him i was like kind of embarrassed and i told him i was like listen i'm kind of embarrassed about this but i shaved my face and he was just like oh okay I <laughs> care. And that was like the first time like I had ever told a guy like something like that and I didn't feel embarrassed or bad about it afterwards. Like I just felt fine about it. Like it was no big deal. It says AF lock canceled. Okay, what do I do here to fix this? Does that turn it down a little bit? Let me try that. Anyway. I'll get it together, guys, I promise. But I don't think you're watching this to watch me put makeup on. I think you just wanna like see what I'm gonna say. Um, so anyway, I told him, I shaved my face and he was like, okay. And that was the end of it. And now he will occasionally, I'm so confident about it that I will pluck, shave, do anything in front of him because the man does not care. He literally couldn't care less. But now sometimes he'll make fun of me. <laughs> like you're plucking your face again. And the thing is, it's like I have tried quitting because I wanted to do um, electrolysis because I think actually that would probably work for me. Um, and I was gonna do it, I was gonna try, but I am so, I cannot stand the feeling of hair poking through my skin that I literally couldn't, because you, in order to do it, you have to not pluck. You can shave, but you have to not pluck. And I have these like little white pokey hairs and they're just terrible. And so, um, yeah, I couldn't stand the feeling even for two or three days or a week or whatever it was. I might try again because, I mean, I definitely really don't want to be like plucking my face forever, but I've been doing this already for more than 10 years. And that's probably why I have like, you know, a little bit of chin that I want to cover with makeup and I don't want people to see it. So it's not a, it doesn't look smooth and cute. Um, you know, you get a little bit of dark hair, but most of it for me is lighter. So like a laser just really wouldn't be able to get that. Otherwise I would have totally had laser by now. How is this looking? The lighting is just not great in here. It feels like it's not great. And I'm looking in this like it's a mirror. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's my story about Tommy finding out that I shaved my face and it was fine and we're married now. So guess he didn't care. Not every guy out there is going to be a douchebag and care about stuff like that. And yes, it is highly douchey if a dude does care about that because I want to say that like most of my friends have the same problem that I have and they don't even have PCOS. Like it's just very common to have a little bit of facial hair. Honey, is that you? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, but, um, so that's the story. And then what else was I going to tell you guys? So much is different now. I, um, like I said, I cleared my schedule so that I could create more content for you guys. And what that means is, um, I am not taking on like certain work that I might have already wanted to take on or whatever, which is really nice. Um, because now I have the time to do what I love doing, which is this. I mean, there's other things I love doing too, but I'm um, gonna draw in my eyebrow with this little eye pencil. Now you can get the, um, Anastasia one for like 20 bucks or you can get the NYX one. It's basically a dupe. It's the same exact product 
there's literally no difference and this is like eleven dollars so i like to save a little bit of money by getting that one but um if you saw my recent video talking about weight loss surgery and whether i'm gonna do that you can definitely I don't know if you did see it, but if you didn't see it, you should watch it. I do go fully into the subject. I talk about whether I'm going to do weight loss surgery or some other kind of surgery. Um, I'm definitely on a weight loss journey right now because I have gained some weight. So like I weighed about 50 pounds less than my top weight back in 2018. And... Um, yeah, I gained weight. And right before the wedding, I lost 10 pounds. So I got, I gained about 60 pounds, actually. And then I lost 10, and now I've lost another 15. So I think it's like 25 total. Um, I'm gonna do like a whole weight loss video though for YouTube. I'm talking about like what I've been taking um, and what I'm doing. Where are my Ozempic girlies? Anybody else take an Ozempic? I just would love to hear your experience in the comments. Um, I took Ozempic. I have been taking Ozempic. Um, but it's more than that because you could probably not lose weight if you were on Ozempic and you were just eating whatever you wanted because it, for some people, it like doesn't even turn off their, um, their appetite, like they still have hunger on it. So, uh -oh. and eyebrow is giving. Love you. See you. Love it. We like this. I am all about the natural makeup like you're just not gonna see me with a lot of makeup because I am lazy and I just feel like it doesn't deliver for me what delivers for me is a cute outfit um this little dress that I'm wearing right now it's technically a chemise like lingerie but it's full-on a dress like you could wear it as a dress it looks like a slip dress it is linked on my LTK if you want to get it. Highly recommend. They make this in like a bunch of, it's like a recurring thing that they make that I get from Dillard's. And if you have not gone into a Dillard's or haven't seen it online on their website, it, you would literally like not even know that they're making cute clothes. They very rarely have cute clothes, but this is one of the things that I really, really like. And when I wear it around the house, it just feels like it gives me like a glamorous kind of moment. Um, because it sort of oscillates between like slip dress vibes and like a chemise because it's technically a chemise but I'm currently wearing the 2x but I think it's starting to get a little loose even though it does not look loose right now but I have the straps tightened and I have it kind of pulled up so I can like sit super comfortably in it because you know I you know those like ladies in like the southern I feel like it's like a Southern Belle thing to wear like stuff like this around the house, like 1980s movies vibe. I don't understand how those women were actually like comfortable or doing anything in the house. Cause can you imagine doing dishes with something like this on? I wouldn't. No, that's where you put the stretch cotton pajamas back on and do your laundry or clean or whatever. I don't, I'll probably wear this for a little bit to do you know some content and then we'll put the pajamas back on um are we liking these eyebrows god the light is just awful i think they're good enough i was gonna do a little bit of blush now i have this um one from Givenchy that i've had for a long time i don't know if they still sell it but it's prism blush it's called prism i think that must be the color it's got like a really pretty pink and the reason i actually bought this is because i was like that's pretty like i'd wear that as eyeshadow or whatever blush whatever so where's my little brush 
Actually, I don't think I'm gonna wear this today. I think I'm gonna do peach because I feel like that will probably look better with my pink or my red lip gloss that I'm gonna wear. So when I wear like a peachy vibe or like summery vibe, I definitely love this by Pixie. Where is the little brush? Ah, here it is. This brush is old. It's, it's dying. It's that old. So pro tip that I learned this year, don't do this, do this because it's more precise. Because a lot of times when you um, do it the other way, you're putting it in a place where you don't actually want it to be and then you have to move it. So this I feel like is a little bit more precise. It is the moment. It is getting so bright in here. Maybe I could turn it down again. It's not going to do it. Maybe I just need to figure out this camera. It's been such a long time since I've used it. And I feel like when I made videos on it before, they were all very overexposed. So probably need to get my edge together. And I'm going to have to look in a mirror in slightly different lighting to see if this even looks how it should look. I think it's fine. Okay. I think I'll like blend a little better. There, there, okay. So we're done. Um, like I said, I don't do that much, but I'm gonna put some lotion on. So I have the Sol Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro. And I love this size. It just like fits in my makeup bag so nicely. And it smells so good. Yes. I love it. The thing that irks me though, is I feel like I have all these great smelling things, but then sometimes when you put them all together, it's not a vibe. Like I feel like they don't always go together and you really have to have things that go together. Another pet peeve I have is on that note is like in the shower. So I want a body wash that has a matching scent to a lotion, to a perfume, to a deodorant, to a shampoo, but I can't do that because I'm using all these different products and they obviously don't coordinate. And I just find that irritating. Like I wish it wasn't like that. I wish that they would just sell unscented products and then you can just scent it however you want with your perfume, but that's not the way the world works, sadly. So, I mean, I could probably start buying unscented products, but the products I like are not always unscented. And it's giving. Oh, if you didn't notice, I do have two different colors painted on my nails. Cause I just think that that's such a cute like moment. All right, we need a little lip gloss and then we're gonna put the hair down and I'll be ready to do another video. I'm gonna be recording a story time video after this. and I'm very excited for that. I think it's gonna be fun. The video I'm recording is a story time of the time that I almost got raped when I was 19. And I don't know why I just said that's gonna be a fun story time, but I don't have any emotions about it now. It was 20 years ago. So we're gonna tell the story. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, see, that's pretty. And of course, I have a bump in my hair. I hate that. I don't want to put heat on it, though. Sometimes it'll just go away if I brush it a few times or put it up in a different way. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for getting ready with me. I thought this was fun. Would love to know if you think these kind of videos are fun. If there's any content you're specifically looking for from me, if you want fashion or if you want stories, if you want just whatever, just tell me.